Well, geez, you're looking good, and the uh, the nose job's come up a treat. Yeah, no, seven days deep, um, and you know, post recovery, man. I know I do feel good, and um, obviously, you know, the tire as well. You know, quite fruity in summary. Obviously, didn't spend all that time in the closet for nothing. So, uh, yeah, no, but it's good to be back, mate. Hell of a weekend. It feels like finals footy, rugby, and the Super Rugby boys. And um, on the way down here, a miracle happened. I actually, um, I ran over a Pukiko. <laughs> And, uh, is that yeah. a good omen or a bad omen? No, it's a good one. It's a good one if you're a Crusader supporter. And I brought it into the kitchen today and it was all plucked and stuff. And it's got this smoky, beautiful, um, meaty taste to it. Um, but it's obviously frowned upon to cook one of our native <laughs> native birds in the kitchen. But anyway, boys, head hard and balls. It's great to be back here, fellas. Um, this feels like it's going to be uh, something like out of the Coliseum back in the day. You know, 61,500 human beings. The Lions versus the Crusaders. Where's our head at here, Staffy? Uh, are they humans uh, at that home ground, Nisbo? You've been a few times. Oh, i tell you something. They're very passionate about their rugby. It's a hell of a hard place to win. And just ask the All Blacks. It's been a real struggle over the years. But, uh, look, my impression of the Hurricanes last week was they ran out of puff. Yeah. Um, and I kind of fear that the Crusaders might have the same problem. Mm. Hey, well, I sort of agree with you. They did look puff, but that's because they do enjoy a durry. You know, a few lung busters once in a time. Uh, once I see you've on. bought one in. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, I'm nervous. nervous. Yeah, no, I am nervous. And I don't normally smoke. I only smoke fish in my pastime. But, um, it, uh, you know, geez, they did look tough. And everything is against the Crusaders this weekend, fellas. You know, Yako Piper, uh, the travel, the altitude, uh, even Dane Coles and his scumbag of troops. Dane Cole's got nothing to do with it, Nisbo. I'm going to go early, Nisbo, and ask you for your tip in this one but because I, I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling I know what you're going to do, but hit me. Well, listen, I'll, I'll hit you with a couple of facts first. Go on. Um, <laughs> one of which is that no team has ever won a final when they've had to cross the Indian Ocean to play a playoff game. That's in the whole history of Super Rugby. Mm. Um, and that's before we start talking about Ellis Park and the referee and the crowd and what have you. Hey, listen. I'd love to see the Crusaders, but I don't think so. I think the Lions. Well, grow up, mate. <laughs> Bloody grow up, Niz, but come on, you're better than that. Get behind your fellow countrymen. Yeah, I, I think I think the Lions 12 and under myself as well. So it's the first time in the whole series that I've agreed with Niz, Bo. I'm sort of torn, actually. I was born and bred in South Africa. Uh, my mum was a taxidermist. My dad was a three-toed manga peeler at the night markets. And then I actually got um, adopted out to New Zealand. So, <laughs> But, you know, my heart's still there. And that's what's... Uh, <laughs> so you're going to give a tip or are you just going to be a nonce? <laughs> no, I actually reckon that uh, the way that the Crusaders are you know, defending, I know it's going to be it's going to be high-fueled running rugby, especially on their dry deck. It's going to be a few points in it. So um, I'm going to say Crusaders 12 and under. Your eyes are lying. Your eyes are telling me <laughs> that you are just spouting bollocks. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, you guys are starting to gang up on me, and I hate this mentality. So, um, Nisbo, why don't you just bugger off, mate, because we've got <laughs> someone coming in through on, on the other line. I think Andrew Mertens, one of the greats. So, uh, Nisbo, he, you know, he's given the... the t- <laughs> yeah, he knows as well, mate, the double finger salute out of Loftus first. I'll see you later, fella. I'll see you next season. So, uh, No one's ever dissed the Niz like that, mate. No, what no, no, no. Thinking? You know, it's getting quite fiery here. Here in the in the dungeon, and um, it's good to see the back of him. Uh, hopefully, he comes back with a bit more hair next season. Uh, yeah, no, it's great to have um, obviously Andrew Mertens, one of the greats on the blower Indeed. here, Staffy, and I can't wait for him to penetrate my eardrums. But Mertz, and here a question that's always been on the tip of my tongue, man, and I hope I I don't step on your toes when I, when I deliver this. But uh, you know, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a tough one. I hadn't really prepared myself for that particular question, but uh, very well. In fact, if you if you could see me at the moment a little too well, got a very good winter covering at the moment and um, working off the stores there, so I could reckon I could go about two or three months without any meals and, and, and do that quite comfortably. Well, mate, I'm a bit torn as well because you're actually born in South Africa like myself, so uh, where's your head at it for this uh, big match? As it happens, we're in Johannesburg and the place that I didn't have a lot of success. I don't really <laughs> like talking about Ellis Park, but... Uh, We've got to, don't we? And it's uh, it's a strong bastion there for both the Lions and the uh, and for the Springboks, of course. And I've seen I've seen both those teams do some amazing things there. Come out like that, Superman. Moots, um, you say you haven't got great memories, but we there's the one outstanding memory of you um, over there in South Africa, and the rabid crowd were clearly giving you some jip, mate, and you gave it back. I missed a kick there that day to to put us one point up, and the crowd 
gave it to me, but they were more giving it along the lines of, you know, they were taking credit for having put me off. And as I would explain to anyone, I could miss kicks on any day. I don't have to be put off by anyone. I could miss it all by myself with nobody watching. I finally hit one for the first time in my life. It's one of those dream moments at the end of a game, and we won the game for us, and I reacted the only way I knew how at the time, and that was to flip the bird at the crowd. <laughs> Any words of wisdom you can give to these Crusaders? No, they're, they're, they've got a pretty much running like clockwork, I would imagine. I'm expecting them to come out firing, and I can't wait for it. 2am, I'm debating whether or not to have a little sleep. Don't be silly, mate. You'll be coming straight from town. The Peugeot party, Trent Renata, the party starter. Yeah. <laughs> might, have, might have to be in bed at 9.30 if I've been to another long lunch, to be fair. So... Um, <laughs> But yeah, looking forward to it immensely. Andrew Merton's final thoughts, mate, on, on the result. The Crusaders, I think, have demonstrated an amazing team team culture and team spirit this year and got through some really, really tight spots. And uh, I know conditions will be different from what they've faced in the last two weeks, but I, I thought they've been very, very impressive in putting away those uh, those two other scumbag New Zealand teams. So, um, you know, it's about time they went across and put away a scumbag South African team. I'm sure they'll do it. Righto, Mertz. Yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. I'll have a side bet with you of uh, two fish, a power fritter, and a scoop of chips. Oh, lovely. Two? What, so a snack? Yeah, fish fingers are small these days, mate, but that's all right. <laughs> Mertz, it's an absolute honour to have you on the, the blow with us, mate. Thank you so much for your insight, and uh, we'll catch up soon. And uh, it looks like we're running out of time because the dogs have come out, the quaddies. But, um, <laughs> hey, that wraps it up for another Head, Heart and Balls, the Super Rugby Finals. And uh, what a season it's been. And we'll see you for the Rugby Championship. Steph, once oh, again, yes. you're an absolute legend. Enjoy your night and uh, let me know how that date goes. I will.